still still feel broke, honestly. I'm mm. still broke. I'm broke. I'm broke. I'm motherfucking broke. I am broke. But we don't want broke women. <laughs> <laughs> fell across that spot and I obviously and she obviously fell in love with it and I was like hey we could be raw to make a video <laughs> for a star conscious you know and we got a little you know portfolio views you know what I'm saying <laughs> we're in Boston actually yeah we're in Boston we were there doing a little friend trip yeah and yeah um, that best. area we were in is called Cambridge um, if you guys ever go, it's like more of a hipster area and more artistic area of Boston. Yeah. So if you're artsy, fartsy, I don't like me and like she likes all those artsy, fartsy I things. I sure do. Um, it's definitely a spot to go to if you go to Boston and you would gotta take pictures. <laughs> it was fun. It was a good time. Yeah. What you want to talk about today, girl? What you want to talk about? So today I want to talk about how, why are lesbian relationships so intense? Like. <laughs> I swear with, I mean, I don't know what it's like to be with a man personally, but they never seem, those relationships never seem as intense as women being with women. Like mm. you could be with a woman for, or be involved with a woman for a week and I swear it feels like a month. Yeah, why is that? Because we do tend to move fast, girl. We, because we know our feelings. <laughs> we know what we're feeling. We're really emotional. We be over looking at the details like Everything. why did she make that look like that why did she why did she move like that why did she get further like honestly that's literally at least maybe it's me but i literally yeah. will look mm -hmm. at all the details of what a person's doing like their emotions as they go and i feed into that and then i also feed into their energy and then it stuff just is hella intense like the especially because because emotion is so intimate and when you're intimate with someone in that way it's like you just get so close. I don't know how, okay, so I've dated men. Okay. Okay, I, I, I'm not gonna say men, boys, because we were young. Mm -hmm. They only, I dated two boys. They both lasted two months, okay? And quite honestly, I lost my virginity to one of the guys, mm -hmm. okay? And <laughs> even with that, I did not feel close to them. Like, it wasn't well, like a- Well, you're also a lesbian. But at the time, I didn't know. But that's why, because you were a lesbian. But <laughs> but I'm wondering if that's how boys are too. Like, but are also they you not? Were a kid. <laughs> like, there's so many factors. There's that. like, I feel like in that case, like you don't even know what you're supposed to be feeling, yeah. anyways. Like until you feel it, yeah, yeah. and that was with the woman. So, nah. I'm gonna go off what my friends say. Like men talking to me. They never seem that um, emotional, like on that level. And like when their emotions come out, it's an anger. So like if someone does some, like a girl does something they don't like or they don't fuck with, they'd be like, oh man, why you gotta be like that? Why do you gotta be like that? I mean, obviously it's a that's pride thing. It, that's it's like, a price, it's an ego. Yeah, thing. it's an ego thing maybe. And also an immaturity thing. Cause I know mm. some men that just talk it out. They'll be <laughs> way more responsive. But it just depends on how they were taught to, you know, process their emotions. But okay, back to being a lesbian. What's so intense about being with a woman? Like moments that you feel like have been intense. Something like so passionate. Yeah, like passionate. Like what? What's like some passionate moments you've experienced? Mm. This is on the spot. She didn't, I this didn't, is straight up. I on did the not spot. prep her that for that question. I didn't even know you. Did you have this question in mind? No, but like we just. Like, having conversations. Damn, like, I don't know, to be quite honestly, like, honest with you, like, I, I'm a sensitive person. Mm -hmm. So everything is, like, intense for me. But when it comes to, like, another woman that I'm intimate with, there's two things. Mm -hmm. One negative, one positive. Okay. A negative emotion would be more so, like, they upset me in some way. Like, I feel it so deep, girl. And because of that, emo those, em that emotional connection that you, have with that you have with the girl, it's like two women together, emotional like that, is like, so intense. And it's just like the hurt feels 10 times worse than what it really is. Mm. The positive, okay? Now the positive is like, girl, <laughs> when you in the, in the moment, 
Uh -huh. And like when you when you kiss another woman's lips, girl, it's like it's so it's, soft, it's so, so sweet. Yeah. Something about it just like just it's, it's like amazing. it's kind of like being cold during the winter and having the blanket cover oh, you feeling dang, so warm. That is a good analogy, right? Look That's how you. it feels. I feel like let me see what I can say. What a kiss from a woman feels like. <laughs> Honestly, a kiss from a woman that I'm really interested in and that I really like or like I'm vibing with feels like someone's tickling me all over my body. Like, oh, the tingles. The tingles. Like, I'm like, ooh, baby. <laughs> that hit different. For <laughs> real. So, have you ever felt something super deep in like with someone you just met? That's how I also feel like women are. Even when they first meet, like I can be like vibing with a girl, but every like even when I first meet them and if they feeling me and I'm feeling them, it's still very intense. It's not like the energy. It's the that en energy. Yeah. They're just like magnets. Like you yeah, just tend to attract to each yeah, other. Yeah, it's not like yeah. a guy talking like, "Hey, what's good? What's good?" Oh my god, like, for real, right? It's not like that. And the girl, it's so easy to flirt with men. I mean, I'm <laughs> at this. I look like this, and not saying I look ugly or nothing, but I look like a stud. Mm -hmm. And it's still so easy to flirt with men. It's yep. so fucking easy. Oh, we should do like a little experiment with that shit. No, you don't think so? I'm not <laughs> like, nah, I ain't fucking with no guy. I'm not doing an experiment. No, because this is crazy. You gonna do it? You could do nah, that. Exactly. Nah, nah. But, but what I'm saying is that mm -hmm. is, that's a true statement. I didn't even think about it's that. It's so easy. We could just like dress like this, go approach a man and flirt. And it'll just be in five like, seconds, we got him. Yeah, honestly, not every man, but like there are mo more than a few that have I've come across that are just like still attracted to me, which is like flattering, but like at the same time, I'm just like nah, son, nah. <laughs> um, it's because a lot of them just want to fuck, though. That's why. Probably. So they'll take. But they are more with their bodies. Like they more go mm. with how their body makes them feel, not necessarily like what emotionally makes them feel. Like I feel like a, like men do kind of get mature older as they get older. Yeah. Um, I think by the time they're thirty, they're probably over that. Hopefully, or thirty-five. You think so, girl? 30. No. <laughs> Sometimes people they be like die in their 50s. fucking whole bunch of women. <laughs> <still. laughs> That's uh, uh, my grandpa was one of them. I ain't lying. I ain't <laughs> like lying. I guess they don't get over. It. I don't know what it is. Like, but with <laughs> women, like I'll meet them and like it'll be one night at a party and it's just so intense. Well, I don't know. I kind of want to know what the bisexual women think about this. I think it's for them to date both. You already into... know. Bisexuals think the same about think women. So? Women just feel more, and then like. Yeah. They know how to approach men and they know how to approach women. Those are two different things. Like, I'm sure it's not the same the way they go about it. There's For no sure. And I'm sure men just come up to them. I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, I can see that. But uh, you know, it's something sexy about a girl that can just walk right up. The type of girls I like more um, feminine women. So do I. They do not come up to me. Like, I have to mm. approach them. But like, I've definitely had like, I had a girl come up to me and I've had girls come up to my friends and come up, like, go through my friends to come to me. But I, I just want a girl to come up to me and just be like, you're fine, but like, not too much, you know, too much. But come up to me respectfully and like, just- Flirt with flirt you with first. Me. Yeah. Like, show interest in you first. Yeah. That is hard to come across as studs. Yeah. I don't understand why that is, because we're all women. Yeah. How can I, we, we? We always have to play into the role of masculinity, and that's mm. not the that's not the case. Like I'm not a man, right? <laughs> I hate that shit. So, Don't you hate yeah. it when you're in a relationship, girl, and someone, some straight person asks you, "Who's the man in yeah. the relationship? Who wears the Who pants?" Who wears the pants? And like, bitch, we both be wearing pants sometimes. Sometimes, but you already know who <laughs> really wears the pants, the feminine girl. <laughs> she just, like, at least for me, like, she That's just, funny. Oh, like, I'm the type of girlfriend, like, whatever you want, just do hey. whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Like, that's kind of how I I am. like that, too. I just go with the flow, whatever they want to do, because this is how I am. I also wonder if, because I don't touch a man, like, I'm telling you, I was probably 18 years old when I was in this dating phase of with boys, right? Mm -hmm. We weren't in relationships. I didn't really touch them like that. I wasn't affectionate like that. So I mm -hmm. wonder if if it's different, like a man's skin with versus a woman's skin. I feel like a woman's touch is such is so much more softer, girl. Yeah. Well, I, a guy to me, I looks it looks like they're rough. Like I don't understand. I swear, I be I'm not gonna lie. I be <laughs> seeing some couples with the the women and and the, the woman and the man, 
And I really be looking like, what do you like about him? Like, I, I literally think in my mind, what do you like about this man? Like, literally, his hands are crusty as fuck. Mm. They look, his nails are fucking disgusting. Um, he didn't put chapstick on today. <laughs> he barely brushed his hair. Like, what is what's going on like i'm not gonna lie whenever i'm attracted to a man it's a gay boy you want to know why because they take good care of they themselves. take good care of themselves like not even a gay boy even just a man that takes really good care of himself that's the time where i'm just like oh man you're actually attractive mm. because the upkeep the upkeep of their eyebrows upkeep of their hair the upkeep of their beard like the fashion the cleanness of them the cleanliness of them is attractive but when i be seeing like women <laughs> with some ugly ass even if they're attractive but they're just really fucking not well groomed and not grooming themselves i'm just like ugh, like what's but I, about it but i can also see why women find that attractive too they like that rough that burly you know is that am i using the right word burly girl you could be burly and oh, rough no. around the edges and still be clean still and clean, clean cut so some girls just like that rough neck type of guy like that you can still be rough neck straight right neck. dirty type Ugh, of guy dirty. is like to them like that's very we're masculine. also that's some hipster ass shit right there so, <laughs> some dirty some dirty ass boys walking uh, around here not washing their hair hey there's some crazy girls out there too that ain't that clean no. girl there are i know there are there really is that's when we go like we go to a different direction what do you want to be? Okay, the type of girls I like are like the girly girls. They go and get their hair done. They go and get their nails. Actually, they don't have to. Oh, you like girly they girls like that? They don't have to be over the top like that. You know how like, you know like the... <laughs> what? Like what? <laughs> like what, bitch? I was about to say. What? Uh, like B. Say like B. Cause they know because in my video I talked about the hat with the B and that's when I first said that I got a crush on somebody and it might. Start oh okay, with B. So cool. You can say B. Okay, so like B, how uh, how she got her nails done, but so like hold on a second. She said B. So if y'all seen my video, <laughs> I re I revealed the fact that I have a crush on somebody that starts with the letter B. So that's what we're gonna name her. We're gonna name her B. Yes. B. So go ahead now so with B. So like B, and then also my other friend does this too. But like, she went to the nail salon and she just got her nails like cleaned, you know, just cleaned around the edges or whatever. And then she just got a, a, a color, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And she didn't get any acrylic or nothing like that. She didn't add anything extra to it. It was just her nail, just cleaned up and with the blue on it. And that's nice. Like you have, you're well keeping up, but you're not over the top. You know what I'm saying? Or like so you're okay with that, but you're also okay with acrylic, right? Or you're not? I mean, I'm all. okay with acrylic, but like I really do like a simple girl. Like oh, okay. it doesn't have to be a mod. But I just I want you to keep up with your hair. I want you to keep up with like your nails. Like I want you to look nice, but you don't have to do too much. Like I'm not talking about a diva. I'm just talking about someone who like keeps up with themselves and then mm. also has a good sense of style. Like style. I want someone to have a good sense of style because when I go out. Like I want them to look cute with me and uh, okay. stuff like I that. See. We need to be feeling each other when we walking out <laughs> together. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to feel that shit. Like one time, okay. I don't know. They might see this, but one oh, time, shit. one time stories. I was um going out and on a date, and then we weren't going anywhere special, but I had put on like a little dress shirt on or whatever, and we were going out, and then I was like. And I just was looking real kind of like more dapper just because, you know, it's the first day. I don't have to do that, but I want to. Of course. Why and, not? and you want to feel good for yourself, too. Yeah. And then like, like she just had a hoodie on. And I was, Damn. And I was just like. Damn. I just like, I think I'm going to go change. And I just changed into a little sweatshirt and some shorts because I'm just like, I'm not about to go out. If you're not like if you're not what, gonna where, match me, where were you going? I'm not gonna say where we're going. Oh, because that person's gonna know. Yeah, I'm not gonna say where we're going. Oh shit. Okay. But. <laughs> oh okay 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 yeah. But I but you, you wouldn't you could it, that wasn't like a need but like I just wanted to look nice. Do you think that maybe if you told her like. No, no, like you got, you don't talk to these girls about like how you're gonna dress so like they know how to like dress themselves too. Like That's I'm, I'm, I'm gonna dress controlling. No, it's not. It's not you. It's not you telling them how to dress. It's yeah. you telling them how you're gonna dress. Oh, like oh my, God, I'm, I'm wearing this. Today. Yeah. So then they can this go off of you. Be. Yeah, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit! Like, 
Okay, that makes it, it a little bit difficult. It wasn't gonna happen anyways. That makes so, it a little difficult. Yeah, so, I mean, I just love a girl <laughs> that can just match whatever I'm wearing. So. That's what's up. Um, and that's your that's your kind of girl. Yeah, that's my kind of girl. See, f physically for me, it's like, same thing. Clean, take care of themselves, style. But how about everything else? Like that's what? other than physical. Like personality? Personality. Like what, do I, what do I want in personality? Yeah, what kind of girl you like? So number one, you gotta be smart. Like, and you don't have to be book smart. You, you're gonna be street smart, something smart, okay? You gotta be smart in something. <laughs> Has some form of intelligence and some type of subject. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know your little niche, like stuff. Like, I like to be with someone that's gonna teach me something yeah. and like elevate me. Like at least if you leave each other, then I've been elevated in that process. Like mm. I've learned something throughout that process, like in a positive way. And then um, funny, like I wanna be able to laugh yeah. all the time. Like I wanna be, be able to laugh with my partner even when I'm sad. Like Aww. I just want to be able to know that I can laugh with them all the time. Someone open, I don't like closed mindedness. Like uh. I don't like when people quickly shut other people down or judgmental. they're judgmental. Oh my, I cannot uh. do it. I cannot. No. I mean, we all have our moments of judging, but like I'm talking about people that just are just always criticizing cri somebody. Always for has a critic, some critic, yeah. the critic of the group. I don't want to uh. be with that person at all. That's a negative person, girl. Yeah, and um, someone strong-minded, sensitive in a good way. Like. You can be sensitive like, oh, I watched a movie and I started crying. <laughs> or maybe yeah. like, oh, that's so cute. Something like that. And then maybe like, maybe I accidentally hurt your feelings and like, I said, I'm sorry or whatever like that. And like, then gets stuff, over it and quicker. And it, it gets over it because like, I don't, I do well with like drama. So like, if it's like really dramatic and stuff, I would just go crazy. Mm. I would just like shut down because oh, I see. Okay. just cause how, I was raised also, like I just don't have any more tolerance for it like in any way. So when someone like is like that, I just really legit shut down. Like I could, you will make me not give a fuck anymore. That so, makes sense. So I'm just like, nah, I'm good. Someone could have a conversation with me and we cannot get angry. Like I don't want someone to quick to anger. I want someone to quick to have conversation or quick to talk or quick to have, take a break. I have some saying. form of understanding yeah. too of the situation and of you and why things have why things were happened the way it was happening. Mm -hmm. And then try to solve it instead of fucking making it more problematic. Yeah, don't make it more problematic. Make it more. Yeah. Make it more positive yeah like we can get through it or like if nothing. someone is upset just um just you know take walk away honestly yeah. take, like let them breathe this that's the best like give them a little that's bit of the space. best policy in a relationship like you are allowed to have a time to breathe like you don't have to be smothered by somebody and then at the end come back together and then you guys will both be calm and y'all are more open to the conversation to listen, listen. Yeah, we went so like. Hold this on, is a combo. hold on. Let, let, let me talk about. Okay, so let me talk about how what I like when it comes to yeah, personality. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. When it comes to personality, girl, I tell you, we got we kind of like the same shit. Like yeah. funny, funny. Um, a woman with goals. A woman's got to have goals. You got to have something to look forward to, something to live for, mm -hmm. some type of purpose in life. Mm. Because that alone, if you can inspire me with how you are as a person now and how you became that person. And who you wanna and be. And who you wanna be. Oh, oh, it's on and popping. Damn. <laughs> it's on and popping. That's that's a blessing. That's itself. like blessing, sexy, everything. Everything, sexy. That's that's exactly it's that. Really sexy, honestly. See, I like me a boss, and you know, you know, you know, be be she a, a boss. boss. <laughs> she a motherfucking boss. <laughs> okay, like she she honestly has like all the the qualities that I look look for in a woman. So, like, other than that, like, intelligence, um, <laughs> intelligence, um, have e someone who has empathy, who cares Ooh, for people. Yeah. Because mm. I might, I might not be a people person, and I might be like, antisocial. Really empathetic person. But I am. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very empathetic. So for some, for someone like my partner to be, M be the same way. Oh yeah. And really thoughtful. Thoughtful too, yeah, yes. thoughtful. Girl talent. A woman's gotta have some form of talent or skill. And for me, it's like the creativity, the artistic way, I think I that 
I have a big interest in. Yeah. And I also like, even if you don't like artistic things, if you're open to it, then you're, and you're gonna come along with, or if I'm painting or whatever, if I'm doing photography, mm. then you're gonna watch me and just be happy that I'm happy, then I'm also just cool with that. Supportive. Yeah, being supportive. And also being real as fuck, tell me, oh. tell me when I'm doing something stupid. Yes. Tell me that that's a, like, don't be rude to me, but like, <laughs> maybe tell me like, maybe you shouldn't go about it like this. Let's go about it like this. Or honestly, can we get somebody good with money too? Like, <laughs> yeah, be good with your money. More so like, um, financially stable. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You don't, you don't gotta be rich. Well, for me, you no, don't gotta no, be you don't rich. Have to be rich. Uh, don't say that for me. You don't gotta be rich. <laughs> You well, I don't know. You ain't gotta be rich. <laughs> I don't want you to be poor neither, though. I need you to, like, and if you are broke, I need you to find a way out. Because <laughs> we, we can build together, but you need to have some form of motivation. I can't help you. I can't keep holding your can hand. Can I be honest and drag about the broke thing? Yeah, be honest. If you're broke. Oh, you don't give a fuck, huh? Am I that? Oh, <laughs> I, was just, I thought you were gonna say the opposite. But at the same time, I feel petty because it's just like, damn, I'm, I was broke at one point. I feel, still feel broke, honestly. I'm mm. still broke. I'm broke. I'm broke. I'm motherfucking broke. I am broke. But we don't want broke women. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like, I still Shit. can't pay for my, I can still pay for all oh, my for sure. For and sure. like, in eats and blah blah blah. Like we have I, a roof over our heads, exactly. clothes on our back, exactly. food to eat, exactly. water to drink. Exactly. It's just the fact that you're really like broke and you're keep asking me for money type shit. Like, mm. like I get if you're broke and you're taking care of yourself because and I'm broken, I'm taking care of myself. So that means together we ain't that broke anymore. You know what I'm True. saying? We helping each other out in a way. But like if you're always taking, 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 I don't want to do deal with that. Yeah, and you know what though? Like in my 20s when I was around your age, mm -hmm. I didn't care for that. I didn't care if a girl had no money, money, and I didn't matter to me at the moment. Now as I'm older, you need to have something. Cause if you had, if you have nothing the day I meet you and you're around my age, what the fuck have you been doing your whole life? What have you been doing? That's true, I'm only 22. So I've been making it like, I, I don't really go hard on the people the people that I'm talking to. Like I'm talking to people between like 19, the oldest so far, like 25. Yeah. So, but if you're 25, I'm kind of judging you. But if you are <laughs> 20 judging. to like 23, I'm not really judging you that much. Yeah, for sure. I'm not even judging you, but like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I am looking like, hmm, what happened? But at the same time, your 20s kind of suck, you know? You know, too, at the same time, if they're broke, but in school, right? that's different. That's, so, that's totally different. Like, there are a lot of my friends right now, they're all broke. <laughs> all of my school. friends are broke because they're in school. Like, me, like, I'm going on little trips, and then they're at school, or they're at home, or they're just babysitting mm. or something you know what i'm saying yeah, like i'm sure. i'm not in school so i kind of get to have like a little freedom and do whatever i want so yeah I'm, people are gonna ask well, why are you in school what do you want to do that, that, <laughs> so if they want to know what the, about that they can always comment below comment and that can below. be the next topic of conversation by the way on our next video Drop some ideas yeah. for our, What do you guys want to see? What do you guys want to see? What do you guys want to hear? We're here to cater to you. Here to cater to you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey. <laughs> Alright, you guys. That was today's episode of Stud Conscious. It was honestly, this was like a podcast in a, real, in, right? a, in, a, in a video. Like, it's just us having a sitting down, having a conversation, talking to you guys. You know, and, and this is usually what we do anyway. Literally, this is literally what we do when we're in the car, just driving yeah. to work. Like literally, this is what we do. But this time, we're just inviting y'all to our conversation. Exactly. So. Come in on the conversation, y'all. Yeah. Make those comments below. Like we want to talk to you. I'm gonna talk to you back. I'm gonna respond to. I'm you. I'm going to too. So you know, just it'll be raw. And then next time, maybe we can do this as a live. Ooh. Yeah. And you then, know what's crazy? On this channel, I have not gone live yet. On Bliss Uncensored tonight at 12:15. Are we Eastern time? Or are we Western time? Central time. We're Central time. I'm sorry, y'all. So tonight at 12:15 a.m. Central time. And I know y'all ain't got shit to do because of COVID. Okay. You so you're be doing well. nothing. Uh, Stay in the house. Stay you in the house. Put it up.
Put a mask on. Put a motherfucking mask on. Put a on, mask on. Put a mask on. What's wrong with y'all? All right, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time we upload. See y'all in the next to the conscious video. Peace. Peace.